Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we are here to do your weekly love reading for August 6th through the 12th. Um, now this, the timing is fluid, so this could have already happened, could be happening now, could be happening in the future. I do focus on love readings, we'll see whatever comes up. Keep in mind that this reading may not be for you. I know a lot of people can't realize that when they watch a reading. You know, they, they can't, if it's not theirs, it's not theirs. But you always get some people that do, just doesn't register. So I don't think it's you guys, it's probably your cross watchers. You guys are pretty intuitive, you, you're pretty, you know, you know, but you know, whatever. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There it is. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, Scorpio. They're real. Your feelings are real. You could be having new feelings for somebody. Or there could be a rekindling of feelings. But I got the goosebumps when I said new feelings. My uh, The goosebumps popped up instantly. So, oh, the cards are just flying right out. So, I feel like there is some feelings, uh, romantic feelings, and I think they could be new. You may suddenly decide to leave a situation and be logical. This is a sudden departure, perhaps. Perhaps you've been holding on to some sort of relationship that is incompatible. And now, you know, you're starting to realize that, you know, your feelings are real and you deserve to be loved. <laughs> Yeah, so I, this could, like I said, a recent departure, perhaps from a relationship. I don't know. Ooh, the truth is being exposed, okay? There is. Some sort of lies are being exposed. Now, two, two, two. Okay? Every single one of them is reversed. So when you get cards in reverse, it's the absence of. 222, two, two, faith and trust. The absence of faith and trust. The absence of a foundation, a strong foundation. The absence of balance. So there's a decision that needs to be made so that you can get back balance and trust and faith in yourself. You're being divinely guided, I think, to make a serious decision in regards to a relationship. To take action. To stop holding on to something that is, yeah, you can touch it, you can feel it, but there's no love there. Okay. There's no love in those cards. No. Mm -mm. Maybe it's stable. You know, stability, it's what you know, it's secure, it's what you know. You can touch it, but it ain't love. Okay. So here we have a decision. Twos are about decisions. Absence of a decision. A decision needs to be made, Scorpio. You need to be logical. Make the decision that you need to make that protects yourself. That, you know, that will restore your hope. Make the decision that is best for you. You know, right now it feels as... I'm getting the goosebumps again, so that means everything I'm saying is correct. You know, you have to be honest with yourself. And I feel like some of you, like I said at the beginning, you guys know. You know things. You know things that other people don't know. That's a fact. Okay? But you may be in denial <laughs> of the truth. Because it's stable. It's secure. And that's what this is. Somebody is closed off emotionally with the Page of Cups. There's, they're not really, really emotionally f available. They may tell you that they are, but they're not. And I feel like you've put in a lot of effort. You have. You've put in a lot of work to make something work out. You have. And now, you know, you had a lot of hope. You, you did everything that you could possibly do to make something work. But I feel like now, you know, the truth is, is here. The truth is being revealed. And... 
you know, that is what this is, lies being exposed. The two, and that's now the middle of your reading, it's the basis of your reading. Some truth has been exposed. You may decide to suddenly leave. That could be the case. A difficult decision, a stressful decision is on your plate. It's on your plate right now. Being honest and truthful, it might be hard, but in the end, it will bring you wish fulfillment. But somebody isn't being honest and truthful. about their heart, about how they truly feel, about what's making them feel loved. There's a lack of honesty here. Somebody may have acted impulsively in a relationship. You know, maybe you got into a relationship impulsively and now you're, you're paying for it. I don't know, I don't know. Act now, think later. I mean, that was part of your, I think that was your, your August monthly reading. This is act now, think later, same, same, same thing. Now, somebody may have to be left out in the cold. This is being left out in the cold. Insecurity. Going after what you deserve. It takes two to make a relationship work. It takes equal give and take. This is about believing in yourself and listening to your inner guide. Your inner guide is telling you what you deserve, okay? Your inner guide, your intuition, your gut is telling you that something needs to be left out and you need to go after what you deserve. Your inner guide tells you what you deserve. There's a dead end situation. There's a death. This is the death of an idea. Thoughts are ideas. Here's a death. It's the death of an idea. Something needs to end. This isn't is it, is it ending. It's time for you to take a break, to take a rest, to recuperate from whatever this situation is. Because there's no happiness there. There's no rebirth. There's no renewal. Could be dealing with a Leo, could Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus. Either way, there's a lot of unhappiness here and there's no growth, there's no renewal, and there's no rebirth here. And whatever it is that you're trying, that has reached a, like a point of dead end, I think your intuition knows exactly what this is. There's an end of a commitment. There's, there's really no long-term commitment here because there's so much discontent and unhappiness. These are both unhappiness, 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 unhappiness. I mean, that's what they are. Your, your inner guy knows what this is. And I feel like you've put, like I said, you've been patiently waiting for things to change. But there's no, no, no fertility, there's no growth, there's no passion there. There's no growth, there's no excitement, there's no passion. There's no renewal, there's no fertility, no fertility, no growth, both of these. Even though you've been patiently waiting for it. You know, you need to get back in your own element. I think you have really good intentions, Scorpio. I do. I think that you do. I think that you put in, uh, gave and given your whole heart to this situation. I think you have. But there's something going on behind the scenes, okay? There's some hidden forces here. There's some sort of lies. Illusion. Escaping the truth. Escapism. Not wanting to believe the truth. When you really should be focusing on your future and waiting for that right ship. You need to turn your back on a situation that is deceptive, it's a lie, it's an illusion. And be patiently, patiently wait for the right ship to arrive. I think there is an impulsive decision that is being... You know, that has led to unhappy love. 
okay? So here we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's time to be stable, secure. Get grounded. Be practical. You may be involved with somebody that is a naysayer that is holding you back from this situation, from this person. This is somebody who is negative, very pessimistic, down in the dumps, a Debbie Downer. You have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that could be a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection here. But you have to take action. Right now you're in a, in a, in a relationship or a commitment or I don't know what, some kind of partnership that is not compatible. It's not. That's It's not. And I feel like there is romantic feelings for somebody else that you need to, that you need to invest in. But you're involved with the wrong one. This is the wrong one. This, this, you have a better suitor. That's what this card means. You have a better suitor, but right now you're not seeing it or something like that. That's what this is. It's a better suitor waiting, but right now it's in reverse. It's the absence of the right suitor. And it's only hurting you. It's causing you heartache. It's causing you sorrow. It's causing you grief. And you may have some regrets. But if you could realize that your future looks bright, if you take action and stop letting yourself be taken advantage of, stop being naive, that's what this is. You are involved in a situation that isn't that you're not meant to be in, and you need to be logical. You have somebody else that is a soulmate, but you have to free yourself. This is freedom. You have to take action and free yourself from this obsession, this whatever it is that you're hanging on to. Fire sign? Are you hanging on to a fire sign when you have an earth sign that is waiting for you? I don't know. It could be any sign. I don't know. It feels like you're being controlled, manipulated. Oh my goodness. By, you know, this is somebody who is very self-centered, conceited. But perhaps they're very stable. They are stable because they, they're, they're like a hoarder. Oh, my goodness. I think there's a, there's a new romance, a new offer of love. I think you have your eye on somebody else. I do. That could be, that could be just as stable after you free yourself. This is freedom, liberation from some kind of idea or some thought that didn't work out. You have to move on. You have to move on, Scorpio, so that you can be with this soulmate. You have a soulmate connection here. A new opportunity. Somebody else. Somebody else. But you have to let go. You have to let go of this burden that you're dealing with right now. You're carrying some burden that is weighing you down. There's some regrets. And it feels like you have romantic feelings elsewhere, but you're involved in a situation that is not compatible. And it's weighing you down big time. So absence of the twos, lack of faith and trust, absence of making a decision. You have to make a decision. This is the very first card. This is a decision that needs to be made. Decision, decision, decision. A firm side. You need to be logical and make a decision that's best for you. You're in an unhappy situation in which the other person is weak. And you're going to have to make the call. It's better to be alone, stable, and abundant than to be in a one-sided relationship where you're not happy. This is independence. This one is too. Completion, completion. Closure is needed. And you will bring abundance to you will feel abundant with this closure whatever it is there's an end there's an incompatible partnership here there's no passion there's no growth there isn't there isn't 
it's you'd be better off enjoying life on your own than dealing with an unhappy situation that ain't going nowhere. But denial is good, right? It's not. All it's going to do is cause problems. I understand there's some hurt, there's some regrets. But it's time to let go of this suffering and do what's right for you. We're going to get you one of these. You're dealing with somebody who's unreasonable. Somebody that is unreasonable and they're not going to change. They're not going to change. You have a soulmate connection here that is waiting for you to see it. Could be an earth sign with the king and queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And be patient. You have to be patient. Patience is needed here. I think that somebody acted impulsively and now the shit has hit the fan. It didn't turn out. Impulsive behavior usually doesn't work out. Once you become single, that solid opportunity comes right in. The one, the golden opportunity, the right one. And I'm not saying, I mean, if you are single already and you're waiting for somebody, you have to be single and love it. You, you're single now, you're waiting for somebody. When you tell the universe that you're abundant with who you are, you have that amount of self-love, that self-respect. When, you, when you're really loving your life as it is, you're just you're not sweating the small stuff, you're enjoying it. everything about you and who you are. The golden opportunity from above gets offered. But you have to get to this point first. Stable, secure, abundant with who you are. Twenty. Converse to a two. Faith and trust. Faith and these are about this is about two. It's faith and trust. The feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. Softly, softly, the tender touch. When we are at a point in life where we want to attain greater things but don't necessarily have the proportionality we don't necessarily have a proportionally greater supply of energy at our disposal. As, if I can even talk. At, at, I'm going to start over. The feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. When we are at a point in life where we want to attain greater things, we don't necessarily have a proportionally greater supply of energy at our disposal. It is time to work smarter rather than harder. This is the way of feminine wisdom. However, a cultural ignorance of the feminine way currently prevails. We are generally taught that the more force we use, the more we try to make things happen, the more we will achieve. And that's what, this is a very masculine energy. Okay, you are more feminine energy. Somebody is trying to force this love upon you not supposed to be forced whatever we are generally taught that the force we use the more we try to make things happen the more we will achieve the feminine way is not about force nor is it about driving striving pushing or grabbing at what we can in order to create that's what's happened here it's about inviting what we wish for to come into the space we have provided for it internally and in our lives this method cultivates more energy causes less stress and attracts what is desired it is manifestation by invitation rather than by will or force it's like you ask for what you deserve and you allow the universe to bring in whatever it's meant to bring in i think that you're dealing with a situation that was forced 
There is an old story that the sun and the wind were debating about who was more powerful. After boasting about their, their, their prowess, they made a wager. A man walked down the street with a coat on. The wind and the sun decided that whomever could force the coat off the man was the most powerful. The wind began demonstrating its impressive power. It blew and blew and caught underneath the coat, pulling it and nearly ripping it right off the man. But the man wrapped his coat around himself more tightly to protect himself against the force of the wind. Eventually, perhaps temporarily, out to puff, out of puff, the wind gave up. The sun took over. He shone down, becoming brighter and brighter, until the man slipped off his coat, slung it over his shoulder, and walked down the street, quite possibly wondering what was happening with the weather that day. The wind attempted to do by force what the sun was able to do by being. You were being asked to surrender your forcefulness, your determination, and your intense activity, even if it is just for this moment. Does this mean that you have to surrender your goals, the goals that you were chasing through those endeavors? Certainly not. This is not about letting go of achievement. It's about understanding the process of manifestation in a more intelligent way. This is, there is a way of creating that gives you energy that doesn't leave you utterly worn out. It is about allowing what you want to come to you. Be yourself absolutely, naturally and with ease. Shine your light and allow your presence to invite that which which you receive, whatever it is, to come into your life. It is about cultivating an energetic affinity with what you seek rather than feeling of lack and need. To feel that you are already a naturally abundant being who gratefully invites more of what you want into your life is rather a different, rather different to feeling lack, fear, and wishing your world would change. It's a bit like dressing for the job you want, even if it is not yet the job you have. You energetically embody what you wish to attract more into your life. Life, Like attracts like. It makes a lot of sense. You guys are in a situation where, where you're not compatible. I don't, I'm sorry to tell you that. And you have a soulmate that, is met, that you have a lot in common with that is trying to draw you in, you know, call you in. This oracle brings you a message. You don't need to push quite so hard to receive what is naturally coming to you. Your push comes from a place of uncertainty over whether or not you will succeed. You need to relax and have more faith in yourself. And the thing is, is like I said, right at the very beginning, the absence of faith and trust. If you could be patient, get out of whatever situation this is that it doesn't have no growth, the right soulmate situation is waiting for you. It seriously is, but you've got to wait for it. Impulsiveness, get your ass in trouble. Trust me, it does. So anyway, Scorpio, that's, that's where I'm at. That's what I got for you. Talk to you next time.